think I'll eat some cheese. That's a strong one. Let's kick its ass. Maybe I'll have some uh, some cookies. I got some. I got some cookies. Some ghetto cookies. All right, I'm pretty sure they do this on purpose. I'm pretty sure they do this on purpose. It's the only explanation. Lightning. It's the only Charge explanation. So we could chuck some wind at it. I'm gonna go with Laura's Sir, here. It's a little expensive. Hearts. It's my turn. Duh. Oh dear. Oh. I'll handle this. We need. I guess I miss out on Brandish. Any single target stuff? Not really. Right. You ran over there like quick, like. It's my turn. The you were weak against fire and that. Arcus, activate. Sure, we'll get you on the, uh, the casting train. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. I got this. You don't have any whatchamacallits. Trying to land, you know. So that's going. gonna hurt. That did not hurt hardly at all. Uh, here I go. Uh, an opening. It's off balance. I've got you. You say does so much damage. Eh? I'll handle this. Am I even gonna get a chance to eat my cookie? Ooh, you got a... Arcus, activate! It's my turn! Huh? Yeah! Ha! Here I go! Ha! Need to see what I, I continue to train. my reward was. I got sent. An upgrade to Etheric Arts. Okay. So we kick out Sarah for Elisa.
You don't have charge. You have charge, but oh, I guess I guess that'll work. Okay. Guess that'll work. Right. We'll save for this one as well. Got my little baggie for these cookies. Our boar boar I activated. dig it. I dig it. Scan complete. Get a fireball from him. Weak against blind. It's my turn. Oh, what are your elemental weaknesses? Water? You dumb goof. Your other weakness. Oh, you have nothing to deal damage to him, do you? Arcus activate. Yes. Ugh. Let's go. I'll follow up. It's my turn now. Was it that had the? Oh, doesn't matter. Let's go. I shall go. Charging. This is probably going to be the easiest one I've ever oh. done. Ha. You got a giga tank up front, three casters in the back, and homeboys just focus ha. on on the giga Leave tank. It to me. Ain't nobody out there tankier than Tita. It's my turn. Got three times the, the HP that everybody else has. Got a hundred percent. Like, uh, I'm going. Completely, but you don't know what I'm talking about. I shall go. Arcus, activate. Thank you. There. Ha. Huh. Leave it to me. Arc is activated. It's my turn. Ha. Huh? My turn. Charging. Yep. Yeah. I'll support you. Thank you. Why is Tita so slow? I know the answer to that, but like, holy crap, she is so slow. Yes. Every every three new say turns. Let's go. We get a Tita turn. Yes. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Here's our chance. I've got you. Yeah. Did we win? Oh, I did it! Great. Ebon Crystal. Speaking of, I didn't check on our ones here. Oh, it's just more HP. Nothing else changed there. I think the turns went up with that. 
I don't think anything else happened there. Um, the ATS part might have improved as well. Any other trial chests that I'm interested in? Pro and Angelica, that one's tempting. Elliot and Gaius, meh. Sarah and Fee, probably do that one. Ash. I feel like Ash's is not that good, but he's with us a lot. We still can't go back to do this one in the Stella Shrine. We don't, even, we don't even have that many left to, to do. Actually, this one's 133. A little crazy. So, of these, Ash and Sarah are the most useful ones, I think. Especially, well, what would, you know what, let's just go ahead and do Sarah's. I'm, I'm curious what they would improve for hers. Alright, you need to get the step in. You need to get the step in. And... Yeah. You need to get the step in. And this particular composition is going to be Sarah in the back, B in the front. Oh, well, before I do this, I do want to see what it is. So I guess the delay is just going to go up, which is not very exciting. No. Uh, we will save. Just in case it's too hard. to do something else. <laughs> We're in a lot of trouble here. Got it. Oh, there goes my my preview in my chat. Um I don't think I can beat this one. Especially because I need to battle scope these guys. You're doing a single target attack. Arcus activate. <laughs> huh? 
Thanks. Oh man. Hmm. Got it. They're coming out. I'll have to update my bot. Can I not target that one? I don't want to wake that one up. Because no, I'm already... I don't think it's possible. Alright. Um... Exterminate! How am I gonna... Ooh, okay. I won't let you! <laughs> Take that! Let's go! The right thing we needed here. Yeah. Focus on you first. Yeah! Speed buff, speed buff that she has on her is picking my booty. I just need something that heals for a decent chunk. Start using this stuff. Make it quick! Zephyr wing! My turn. Exterminating! It's down! Take this! Wow, you hit. Hmm. Got it. Exterminate! I got this! He is kind of low. Let's go. All right, everybody's awake. Extermin. Now. Let's go, Sarah. Broke one. <laughs> He's partners. <laughs> Casting though. Oh. Can't tell if I guess maybe that's like an enemy heal circle. Exterminating. I got this. You're asleep. With two of them asleep, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Yeah. My turn. Exterminate. Now. And if I didn't Take have the this. sleep. <laughs> I would have been dead a long time ago. Make it quick! Zephyr wing! Yeah! Battle scope the last one. There it is! Yeah! Okay. Let's see. They all share the water wind weakness. Arcus activate. Let's go. Yeah. 
Gotcha! Now! Take this! Huh. <laughs> Take that! My turn. Exterminate! It's down! Take this! Could you attack that one? Weak! It's right. my turn! Ha! Can you believe we brought this back? Can you believe we brought this back? It's down! Take this! This'll end it! I can't believe it. Quick and easy, nice and neat. <laughs> Spoken like a true... Searing Bolt. Oh wait, does she only have one upgrade? I even... Yeah, she did. So it, it went to six turns instead of four. Meh. It's... It's it's appropriately costed, you know, for for what it does. Uh, all things considered, it's just it just it 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 just costs too much to to use. But uh, it's it's a nice get out of jail free card for sure. What am I doing? All right, I think we're moving on to uh, main story stuff here. We had like, what, two and a half hours of shenanigans? Uh, is that the only swamp? Terra is along for the ride. Turn in our quests. Okay, let's see how you did. Thanks, everyone. Great job. See you later, Reen. Hey, that could have been everything. Yep. All right, we'll do one more save. And we'll we'll go through this meeting, which I'm sure is gonna have a tons of voice acting. Allow me to eat some cookies. Alright, one last final check that there's nothing else that I feel absolutely necessary to do. Alright, let's do it. An invitation to the Pentagruel. And from General Le Guin, no less. Seems Musée's been planning for this all along. Yeah, sounds like it's a bigger deal than I'd imagine. We'll have to make sure we all stay on our, stay on our toes. Sure, there's just one thing, Ring. Though I imagine you already know what I'm thinking. You mean about Musée, right? I am her instructor, after all. No matter how much she knows, she's still only 16. We'll need to keep an eye uh, out for her. That goes without saying. I've charted the course to our destination. We can leave at any time, so just let me know when you want to depart. All right, there is actually one thing. Um, we picked up some new quartz along the way, and I've yet to use them. Um, also, also, raid. Counterattacks after evading always deal critical damage. That is what we need. All right. I think we need a level higher. Yeah. Okay. We're not done yet. We need to go to the Orbital Factory. We need to upgrade some slots. Talk. 
Hello, Aurene. Good to see you're still in one piece. Hey, Tawa, Tita. Uh, thanks for all your help back in Leaves. I told you, Reen. There's no need to thank us for every little thing. We're all a team here. That said, I was really impressed with your work this time around, Tita. Yeah, if you didn't have the orbital gear at, uh, at the ready, we would never have infiltrated the keep that smoothly. Even Professor Schmidt gave you his stamp of approval. You made all the time spent making little adjustments here and there worth it. Although the professor only gave me a pass on this one, I've still got plenty of assignments left to tackle. You'll pass them with flying colors too, I just know it. You've proven yourself more than capable of rising to any challenge. We'll be counting on your support from here on, Tita. Thanks, I won't let you down. I'll help. Yes! Come back soon! I'll help! Alright, so Kurt. Want that one. That one. You say... Okay, we'll hold off on that for right now. We can make a variety of quotes. the machine. He is going to be doing big damage now, right? Yeah. This is going to be good. Um, there's got to be other things that I, I need to find yes. another customization shop that lets me do accessories. Come back soon. We're not done here just yet, unfortunately. I don't know if I could still do this here. Don't talk to me, dog. Oh, I thought these were new weapons. I was like, how are these improvements? You're so weird. So where can I go to exchange things? Um, Raquel. I heard there's some trouble stirring up. No, Aquarel. Yep, yep, yep. You got information. Butler uniform. There we go. Let's see here. Butler green. Wow, that costs basically everything that we have. too expensive for my taste at the moment. What did I come here for? What did I come here for? Dang it, I don't remember what I came here for. I think it had something to do with Reen. But for the life of me, I can't recall.
had to do with accessories. I don't know. I don't... Whatever it is, I don't see it here. That's unfortunate. Ooh, global talisman. That's pretty insane. What is this victory belt? supposed to do so I guess I'm just gonna move on thought I had what I wanted but I guess I never knew Ooh, we've got a storm bell Whatever it was that I remembered that I needed to do that I can't remember now, I'll remember when it's too late, I suppose. Our des uh, designated meeting point is a buffer airspace above the borders of Arabonia, Calvard, and Liberro. I've already charted our course. Could we depart and rendezvous? Understood. I'll call everyone together then. Got it. Thanks. Once Class 7 and the rest of the crew had each finished up their remaining affairs, the Merkaba then began to make its way toward the designated meeting point. The neutral zone. Where's our where's our stuff? We gotta bring all the divine knights with us too. going to see that. It's broad daylight. Merkaba number eight. This is the Pentacruel speaking. Your ship is now permitted to dock. Please follow the beacon. Understood. Initiating automated boarding. Wow. We really are over a three-way border. If only just barely. The non-intervention uh, zone should span the entire surrounding area, supposedly. Not much of a chance for interference when you're straddling three entire countries, huh? Yep, plus it's off the invasion route into the Republic. It makes for a pretty effective blind spot. But did we really have to go all the way here just to find out what Neil Mirage is about? They're here. Enter the front runners. Guessing uh, Josette? No. Integral landing craft, okay. That works too, I suppose.
What if that's actual Morse code? Uh oh, that's a Calvard ship. Eeyore. A certain country's latest model of gunship. Scout ships from the Pantagruel, and more from the northeast and south. The northeast and south, could it be? That makes their origins clear, geographically speaking. And in that case, the ship coming from the east must be a new state-of-the-art military gunship from the Republic, courtesy of the Verne Company. That's right, complete with a higher carrying capacity and expanded cruising range. So many people from so many different regions gathered together for one purpose. You say, does this mean all of these people are? Indeed. Important figures from each one of our neighboring countries. The Kingdom of Liberal, the Principality of Remiferia, and even the Republic of Calvard. And if all goes to plan, we'll have a few special guests from the Bracer Guild and the SSS join us too. Let's bring the ruckus. This should be a fun meeting. Oh, it looks like Josette's already here. My goodness, look how many people we are. It's absolutely insane. We're like 25 people. It's been about a month, hasn't it? All right, this is where you escaped from, right, Ash? Wow, the ship is huge. Hey, that's the Bobcat, too. Just like Josette said. So, you showed up after all. Who that? Oh, okay, what's up, Mr. Wallace? Brigadier General Bardius. As do well. you, Schwarzer. Despite everything General Le Guin and Miss Clotilda tell me you've been through, your Highness, Lady Angelica, it's a pleasure to have you back safely with us. I was about to say, why do they keep calling her Lady Angelica, but I forgot she's a Ragnar. She's nobility. Thank you, Brigadier General. We appreciate it. Who would have thought uh, we'd be meeting here on the Pantagruel at a time like this? Agreed. Things have taken a real turn since Ortis's last provincial council. What happens here today could very well change the course of history. You know, I have a feeling they're going to gloss over some stuff in this one, like they did with some of our other really important meetings. They like time skip and jump in between and then and then do uh, like flashbacks and things like that through the same conversation instead of giving us one continuous conversation. Wow, the course of history. Quite the assemblage then. Indeed it is. In fact, some of our guests have already arrived. Though many of them are simply here to observe. Follow me, everyone. I'm ready. I'm ready for some chat. This, this is on the same level as Reen and crew reuniting for the Class 7 reunion in Heimdallar. The, I believe I recognize this area. I believe, um, yeah, I do. So in Cold Steel 2, the Noble Alliance had the Pantagruel. And there were some Ouroboros and Imperial Liberation Front members uh, here. Crow included, in fact. And uh, yeah, this is this is a nice little uh, throwback right here. Uh, incredible doesn't even begin uh, doesn't even begin to describe this place. Actually, haven't you been uh, haven't you and Instructor Reen been here before, Ali? It's a bit of a long story, but I shall not reveal the details of his misconduct during that occasion. She was watching him, or he was watching her sleep. Reen. Reen, what did you do? It was a misunderstanding. 
I'm not entirely convinced. I'm sure he I'm sure he didn't have impure intentions. That's the whole problem. His heart is too pure. As I've told you before, Reen uh Reen, nobody likes a goody two shoes. You got that right. Can you guys just not? We've known for a while of your unsociable ways. Yeah. And, uh, we already accepted the fact that you're completely clueless about people's feelings, Reen. Reen's got all the luck, though. All the bad luck, I'd say. Um, this brings back memories. Reen carried me in his arms once. Yep, we rescued her here. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Man, there was a lot going on that day. I doubt anyone there that day expected that sort of daring escape from you. Wow, that must have been so cool. Reen, you hound. You really can't judge a book by its cover. Guys like you and Lloyd are, are really something else. Leave some charm for the rest of us, will ya? Instructor Sarah, Tawa, requesting permission to burst into tears. Permission denied. This just means everyone likes you, Reen. You're a lucky man, Reen. Wow, it looks like the party's already started. Is that, uh, is that Lloyd? Kinda feels like this meeting was a long time coming, huh? That was Estelle. Yep, that's them. Here we go. <sighs> well, I'll be. <laughs> Took you guys long enough. Long time no see, Tita. Have you grown a few, Reach? Or am I imagining things? Estelle. Joshua. <laughs> Hello again, Tita. Remember our promise? Run! Oh, you guys. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. <laughs> Don't you get me started, too. So melodramatic. And here I thought you two would have grown out of this by now. You're one to talk. I can see you getting a little choked up yourself. Seems like you've been holding up pretty well, Agate. <laughs> As if there was any doubt. We're making progress, don't get me wrong. But there's still a lot left to take care of. All the more reason to stay on top of our game from here on. Oh, Sarah! You're here too! Nice to see you again. It's been too long. Man, it sure has. What's it been, like three years since you were last here in the Empire? Oh, yeah. Let me introduce you to Fee. Sup? Fee? Like, the Fee? That petite powerhouse they keep talking about in all the guild branches? It's a pleasure to meet you, Sylphie. As you can see, we've heard all about the work you've been doing. You can just call me Fee. I've heard a thing or two about you guys, too. You know, from Agate and Sherazard. Oh, yeah? Trust them to embarrass us like that. Speaking of Shira, we still don't know where she is, do we? She's gonna be here. Not a clue. We know she's still alive, at least. The way I figure, if she was in trouble, she'd contact us with that thing she's got. Right. It's only been about two weeks since we last heard from her. She left Heimdall altogether just after that, didn't she? Yeah. I've got all the other Erebony Embracers looking out for her, too. Nice tackle, Kia. Lloyd, Ellie, I'm glad you guys managed to come. Of course. We wouldn't miss this. Oh, I can't help myself. Come here, you two. Uh, Ellie, I can't breathe. Oh, Tio, I'm so relieved to see you're okay. Yona's been worried about you too, you know. Oh, you don't say. That's cool. But also, I could really use some air. <laughs> hoo -ee. The dynamic duo is getting bigger and bigger by the day. Good to see you, Randy. Right back at you, Lloyd. Now, hold on a moment. You didn't think I'd just let that little comment of yours slide, did you? Who's the dynamic duo? Me and Tio? I don't think we got any taller. N no, uh, not a, a trap. D forget I said anything, all right? <sighs> Shame on you, Randy. 
There are children here. <laughs> and we didn't forget about you, Yuna. Ki has been telling us about all you've been up to. We heard you help set Tio free. I'm so proud of you. Uh, oh, um, well, that was more Class 7 as a whole. It was just part of our mission. As someone who's always looked up to the SSS, it's so great seeing all of you back together again. What do you mean? You're one of us too, Yuna! Mm-hmm. You're a lot closer to the SSS than you give yourself credit for. That's right. You carry on the spirit of Crossbell in a way all your own. I think we're all aware of how much you look up to the SSS. But you know what? It goes both ways. We're just as proud of you too, Yuna. Every one of us. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Well, at the very least, you've gotten a bit more tame since the first day you bucked into the branch campus. Uh, come on, Randy! Let me have my moment! Oh, right! Elisa! Over here! Ellie, you look amazing! It's been too long. I'm so glad you guys finally got the chance to reunite. Oh, that's right. Elisa and Dolly met up about three months ago, huh? Yep. Elisa's the granddaughter of the Reinford Company's founder. Not to mention a Thor's alumnus. Thank you, Elisa. Though, I don't think I look even half as good as you. Allow me to congratulate you on your reunion as well. <laughs> Aw, thanks. I suppose I'd better introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Reen Schwarzer, graduate of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Ellie, Estelle, Joshua, it's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is ours. Elisa's told me quite a bit about you already. Perhaps a bit too much, actually. Oh, Ellie! We definitely know you by now, after all the stories we've heard. From Tita's letters and Ren. Even Olivier, and Toval. I see. It's no surprise you knew His Highness, but... I wasn't aware you knew Toval, too. Yep. We met back on our first trip in Erebonia. He helped us out a bunch. It's good to meet you, Reen. This has definitely been a long time coming. Don't worry. You can loosen up around us. We're the same age, more or less, right? <laughs> Got it. I think I'll take you up on that. Looking forward to working with you guys. Yeah, for sure. As are we. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's been a while, Lloyd. How have you been? Busy, to say the least. It's been crazy this past year and a half. I really owe you for your help during Operation Birdcage. I'm sure I'll get the chance to return the favor, though. I get the feeling we're gonna be seeing a lot more of each other. From here on, Reen, we fight on the same side. As equals. <laughs> uh... I instructor Reen? Honestly... I'm not sure I even deserve to shake your hand. I'm sure you've heard about what I've done. The mistake I made. Uh, Rain. Hmm. Just gonna leave him hanging. It's my fault that the curse spread throughout not only the Empire, but Crossbell too. It's the same with North Ambria and Jirai as well. Even this awful war with Calvert. I have no idea how I can even begin to apologize. No, Reen. That's wrong. It's my duty as a detective to look beyond what's on the surface. You want to know what I see? I see that this was all a setup from the very start. Nothing you could have done would have possibly changed the outcome. I see a man who... Despite it all, never fell to despair. A man who continues to push back, even at this very moment. Not just for Crossbell, or even Erebonia. But for the world itself and all who reside in it. 
Within you lies the strength of countless allies, helping you move forward through whatever may come. I'd like the SSS to be a part of that, Reen. To be one of those allies there by your side. Empire or Crossbell, where we're from doesn't matter anymore. Now we're fighting for the world itself. Together. Lloyd. <laughs> this guy, I swear. <laughs> now I understand why you look up to him the way you do. <laughs> yep. Told you he was great. Wow. How am I supposed to follow up a speech like that? I'll gladly take your words to heart. It's good to have you with us, Lloyd. I'll be honest with you, our situation is looking grim. And it's only going to get worse from here. But that's never stopped us before. With you on board, we'll overcome every barrier in our way. <sighs> you got it. <laughs> That goes for us, too. We Liberlians got your back. <laughs> I see you've saved me the trouble of rounding you up. All those people. So many people. Principal Le Guin. Right on time. Is everything ready? Is she? General Aurelia Le Guin, commander of the Viceland Army. Wow. I can tell this lady's a serious badass. You don't know the half of it. She's the strongest warrior in the world. She beat... Uh... Uh, Ar Arian Road in, in a battle. It wasn't a one-on-one -on -one battle, but she beat her. That's an understatement. She's one of the greatest swordmasters of our generation. Recognize. Bracers of Liberal. Special support section. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Aurelia Le Guin. Well met, all of you. I'd love to chat with each of you individually, of course, but time is of the essence. I suspect our other guests are anxious to get things underway. Ah. What? I knew it. Well, if it isn't the special support section, I do believe it's been around two years since our paths last crossed. Though it would seem Arios is not with you this time around. A pleasure to see you again, your lordship. Our apologies. Arios had some pressing matters to attend to. But he did make sure to send his regards. Is that so? I suppose I expected as much. A man in his position seldom has any time to spare. Princess Elfin, I bring you my greetings and condolences both. We received news of Emperor Eugen's condition as well as the tragedy that befell Prince Oliver. I can only imagine the pain this must put you through. You have my deepest sympathies. And you have my sincerest appreciation, your lordship. I must admit, I didn't expect to be able to meet with you so soon. Nor did I. A silver lining in the dark cloud that brought us here. Lady Mildeen, allow me to thank you once again for the invitation. The gratitude is ours, your lordship. It's an honor to receive you. Ha <laughs> ha! This is quite an extraordinary crowd we have here. Correct me if I'm wrong, SSS, but it was two years ago that we last met as well, was it not? Yes, back at the trade conference. It's good to see you again, sir. Princess Alfin, Lady Mildeen, I don't believe I've ever formally had the pleasure. Though I suppose in a way we aren't entirely unfamiliar with each other. I had the privilege of meeting your brother, you see, back during the conference. Ah, oh, yes, he mentioned you before. Pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Knowing you're here helps put into perspective the true scale of Operation Meal Mirage. It's an honor to have you. We do appreciate you taking the time to come. After all, I'm sure you of all people have been particularly busy of late, President Rocksmith. What? No way! <laughs> so that's how this is gonna go. I don't even know how to react! <laughs> how silly of us. I didn't realize we had neglected to make our introductions. In that case, allow me to go first. Uh, you realize you neglected it. Albert von Bartholomew. I am Pally. Albert von Bartholomew. 
Grand Prince of the Principality of Remetheria. It's a pleasure to meet you, students and alumni of Thor's Military Academy. Is this a crossbell guy? No, he's Calvard. And I'm Samuel Rocksmith, President of the Republic of Calvard. I'm sure I'm the last person you would expect to see here. Yeah? Prince Albert is one thing, but President Rocksmith? Indeed. And in person, no less. What's the President of Calvert doing here? We're on the verge of war. That is exactly why I chose to attend, Machius Regnitz. Ah, and you must be the acting Duke Alberea. And, hmm, your fee Clausel, correct? Doing your homework. Let me guess. She told you. As I suspected, you work for Calvert's Central Intelligence Department. Hmm. He was a lieutenant something, second lieutenant. Does that mean she's on secretary to the prince? That's right. I'm a second lieutenant in the CID, as well as a member of the Special Force Hercules. Thanks for your help before, by the way. I'm Lucy Saland, private secretary to the Grand Prince. For those of you we met before, it's a pleasure to see you again. Now I understand. You were investigating Erebonia's internal affairs to prepare for today's meeting. Wait, back up a sec. If the heads of Remiferia and Calvert are here, then... There's only one more big nation we're missing. Chloe. <gasps> it would seem they've arrived. Cassius yeah, too? They made it. Oh, okay. you have got to be shitting me. Lebrel has just as much a stake in this as anyone else, after all. Oh, dang. They brought Cassius. Oh. It's the Princess of Liberal. And beside her... Man, today's just full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry for the delay. I have to say, this is the most luxurious ship I've ever seen. Thank you once again for inviting us. Doesn't quite sound how I would picture him to sound, but all right. Cassius Bright, sucker. My name is Claudia von Auslis. I will be participating on behalf of Queen Alicia II of Liberal. Delighted to make your acquaintance, everyone. Cassius Bright, Lieutenant General of the Royal Army of Liberal. Unfortunately, we don't really have time for pleasantries. How about we get straight down to business? This is going to be insane. If this ship doesn't blow up with everybody on it, then I, I just don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, this is insane. Hey, where's where's us? Where's us? Aurelia gets to sit in, but Reen doesn't? Like, come on. This is some bull crap. This is supposed to be the stuff around among nations. Y'all gonna make me run side quests on this ship too? Suck. It was more like a summit than an informal meeting of concerned parties. Yeah, but Eusis and Angelica must have known this was coming, right? Yes, Musay planned to include representatives from powers outside Erebonia right from the beginning. But we had no idea who exactly would be invited or in attendance. Turns out Operation Meal Mirage has many influential backers. And the Lieutenant General of Liberal is among them. Now you gotta watch out for him. Cassius Bright, the tactical genius who stopped the Empire's invasion during the Hundred Days' War. After the war, he left the army and worked as a bracer for a while. He and my father were good friends. I think I remember something involving them around four years ago? Right, when multiple Erebonian branches of the guild were blown up. When the anomalies started in Liberal, he, he rejoined the army. 
and now he's having a friendly chit-chat with the president of Calvard, whose country is about to get invaded by Erebonia. That Musei is an excellent matchmaker. She even reached out to Remitheria, wow. Remitheria is in a similar situation as Liberal right now. The Empire is pressuring both of them uh, to allow their army safe passage through. Neither are particularly willing uh, to do so, but they fear retaliation should they decline. Refusal could be construed as siding with Calvard. Small nations can't afford to be assertive against the overwhelming power of the belligerent Erebonia. Yeah, that'll probably be the main topic of discussion today, I think. While those nations can't openly oppose the Empire, we, along with the Bracers and Special Support Section, are more free to take action. This is a good opportunity to speak with the other parties involved. Not just Liberal and Crossbell, but Remiferia and even Calvard, too. Indeed, there is no better time for us to exchange information. It's also the ideal time to speak one's mind freely. After discussions have concluded, I'd like to speak with the Grand Prince and the President myself. You've got guts, I'll give you that. Though I wouldn't mind exchanging a few words with them either. And I'd like to talk with Ellie, if there's time. And Crown Princess Claudia, too. Seriously? Well, I guess this is your best shot at getting close to her. By the way, Ash, don't you and Joshua go way back? How do you know that? Look, that ain't confirmed, and I don't really remember him. Still, you two might want to talk and clear things up. Yeah, uh, that's what the thing's all about, isn't it? There's going to be a dinner after the main talks. We can talk about more personal stuff then. The principal invited us uh, here, so there's no point in acting like wallflowers. Yes, let's make the most of it. What's the point of us being here if we're not going to sit in on the talks? I should go around and talk to the attendees myself. I definitely want to check in with those from Liberal and Crossbell. Might as well talk to the representatives of Calvard and Remiferia too while I'm at it. Why don't you just say, I want to talk to everybody. Because you literally want to talk to everybody. I was temporarily disbanded. Main story will progress once you see the required sub-events.